Welcome everybody back to Faith the Unholy Trilogy because it is spooky month and I need to play a spooky game. And last time I played chapter one. So now I'm going on to chapter two. And just like last time I played Faith, I'm not alone. Hello. Alright. Uh, My attention is split three ways at the moment. I will try to do as best I can. Yeah. New game! Prologue, turbo. Prologue? Oh, there's a prologue I can unlock. Cool. Turbo? That sounds concerning. Uh, that probably just means that movement's a lot faster and whatnot. Uh, th that would be nice, I guess, yeah. to some extent. So this game's endings kind of require multiple runs through the game, so I'm only going to go for one of the endings. I'm going to try to go for the best ending. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. I lost my place. Okay. Okay. Probably I don't know why I... Like, scrolling down made me lose my place where I was reading. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. Got my cross. I got my Jesus. I got my holy Lord Jesus. I can't grab the Bible. One day is all it takes. Two weeks. Looks like he's got some pink eye. Some gingivitis. Gingivitis. Now, I know it's been a year, but uh, does that thing look a little familiar to you? A little. In the last game, if I remember right. Yep. <coughs> or last chapter, not last How chapter. are we doing today? He's Spanish! The demon's Spanish! And also apparently turned him into an albino! Yeah. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna move on. Yep! It starts. Yeah, that was the creature that attacked us at, like, the end of the last game. Like, whenever yeah, we, we, we reached the car. Multiple of the endings? Yeah, so well... Was that, like, the no, I did. I did get all the endings because in the first chapter, literally, it's just you shoot, you find and shoot something else. You get a different ending. Oh yeah. Then like there was one that had like some more steps to it. No, there was a secret boss. That one is one of the secret. Because I had to shoot. Because uh, I had to shoot the mirror. Dios mio, what have you done? I have somebody as a pig. You can hide from good evil. You shall bring the wrath of the Almighty. Did he, did he say I have the body of a pig? That's what it sounded like. My Three name. months of hell. Discover Father Garcia's backstory. It's 2 a.m. Alright, so one of the things that I remember forgetting the evil ending is at some point there's going to be a... I'm going to end up like dripping blood and with these stones i got to draw a pentagram. But that's getting the evil ending. I'm gonna try and just go for the good ending. Have you forgotten already? The notes people have... The notes people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory. Pressing the escape key or the start button is a good way 
to remember what you haven't realized you have forgotten. If you are in a hurry, hold spacebar or the action button to skip a cutscene. Oh, that's right! This game got a recent update where uh, you can skip cutscenes. That's nice. Because for some reason it took them this long for them to implement that, but I don't think that was much of a bother. Granted, I've only played the first chapter, hence this being the first time I'm playing chapter 2, and next year will be chapter 3. Yep. Deer. That deer ending still gets me. It's just so creepy, like, you get into a car accident because of a deer, you're surrounded by deer trying to crawl back to your car, and then you're just rushed by deer and ripped to shreds by them. Speaking of ripped to shreds... It Christmas! <laughs> but we ripped the deer to shreds to make it Christmas. <laughs> oh, that's not ominous. Yep. Walking right into a graveyard. Yep, got my Jesus. Oh yeah, and this the just second chapter is that is long enough to where they actually implemented saves. Dearest disciple, verily not everyone who says Lucifer Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon, you must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the saved family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Gary. Yes, the <laughs> saved family tomb. <laughs> That's funny. Looks like he wants to do something to you with that key. Something I, inappropriate. I do believe that means that my game is saved. Yeah, probably. Oh, boy. If and I remember right from whatever playthrough... Whoever I, I don't remember who I last watched play this game, but I do remember watching this in Chapter 3. Right. Oh, you little shit. You cannot hide. There we go. I was wondering why I wasn't hurting him. He keeps hiding in the uh, in the clouds. Ah, damn it! Good thing I saved. Yeah, I basically have to fight a bunch of. Save family too. I basically have to fight a bunch of... Oh, I got oh, I gotta walk up to the mirror again. Damn it! Ah, uh, it, it saves when I get in here, but I still gotta walk up to the... Cause I, know, I just noticed the little save icon in the corner. Yay! I gotta go fight that, uh, demon fetus again. Demon fetus. Fetus demons. I mean, that's what it is. My feet have demons. Shit. Yeah, we let our shite. Are oh, you. A little hard to tell him when he's coming right at me. Oh boy. This is gonna be a long night. And I gotta walk up to that mirror every single time. <laughs> Unless... Let's see if that... I don't know if that will change it, but... And maybe I should go fight one of the other ghost hunting this place. No. I wanna take care of this guy first. But you could. What's this? The classic problem of any game we've played together where you insist on doing things in one order? 
Yep. Right. I don't gotta walk up to the mirror anymore. Look, I'm gonna have to face this thing eventually, so I might as well get. And since I'm having a hard time with it now, might as well get her done now. Okay, there we go. Okay, I thought there was one... Okay, for some reason I thought the mother of that thing was gonna come after me. Losing Grandpa was the... I think that's a different ghost I gotta fight. Uh, losing a... Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I have ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much, I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. Huh. Where does porno script I ever read? <laughs> 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 I was thinking the same thing, but I wasn't saying it. <laughs> okay. Oh, guys, is this, kid? Is this kid? the last... I'm, I'm, if that kid's not remembering something, it's called suppressed memories and ain't magic kids. Oh, uh, okay. Wrong. I... Okay, hold on a second, I gotta go back, because this is a Lost Forest situation where I gotta know what pattern I gotta go. Uh, right, up, left, up. Because the statues I just noticed are different. Actually, you know what? Before I actually continue, I need to hit. I need to go back to the save. <laughs> That'd actually be the smart thing to do. Cause if I die again, I gotta fight the baby again, and I don't want to do that. I have to save scum. To be fair, I wouldn't say that this is save no, scumming, but that's not but... save scumming. That's just saving. That's incremental saving. Yeah. Mildly sweaty, but not anyone will probably really blame you for it. No. I save scum when I play Castlevania games, because usually those are the first times I'm playing the games, and I'm not very good at Castlevania games. And I don't want to be stuck on Dracula! Like, I will openly admit to save scumming when playing those oh, I, the Castlevania I games. I scumming, uh, Slay the Spire, because it, like, the ascension in that game is just bullshit. It's not even fun. <laughs> There it is. And if I make like, the slightest Fuck. Wrong decision, that actually got me. Be screwing me over. Boogity boogity. Boogity boogity. I'll see you again. I bet you will. I have no clue what it said. I'll see you again. Oh yeah. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed and kicked around. Laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day my body withers away, but by night my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge and knowledge guided by beings of pure darkness. I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon 
seal, I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five, first at the top left point, and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. So yeah, those five rocks at the beginning of this stage. Yep. Save! Ah. All I have to say is, someone let out their emo phase from middle school. <laughs> when writing the script. Alright, Purple Skull, what do you got for me? And, of course, the statue moves. That's not creepy at all! Alright, that, that sent a shiver. I'll admit that. I don't remember everything about this game. Alright, next boss. There he is. Oh, there's the th there's the baby's mother, because it's got the umbilical cord sticking out. Uh, oh crap! <laughs> I believe that's the case. That's what I've always believed, at least. It makes sense. Either that, or it's a really weird penis. No, you don't. I actually couldn't hear that one right. Something. I thought it said my only lantern or something like that. I don't know. like to me too. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. I ever made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctors. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remembered. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. She Now she was pregnant, she beckoned for, towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Idea. That's when I met Gary. good old Gary. Gary Busey? I actually don't remember who Gary Busey is. Oh, look. I know that's a person, actual person. That statue's different now. Yay. Oh. Look who's staring at me in the mirror. Me. Mmm, comfortable. Yeah, now I'm dripping blood, and this would be the point where if I wanted to go, go for the... An ending. Yeah, if I wanted to go for it. There is a part later on that kind of like sh has like three things blocking your path with symbols kind of indicating what you need to do to unlock it. So I would need to do all that evil stuff. But I'm not doing that. That's going to be for another run. Do it. No balls. Save family legacy. Solve the riddle of the Gallup Cemetery. Also, I'm no longer bleeding. Right. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> I am Groot made a deal with Mephisto. Why did I say I am Groot? It's just Groot. <laughs> I wasn't going to acknowledge that. I, just said, yeah. I am Groot. Where are you hiding, Vin Diesel? Okay, I'm in the next spot. Also, small child went out into a cornfield. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I ha I hath not seen her. Children fear her. 
So, if in my memory is correct, and it's spotty at best... Uh... Ooh, nice scarecrow. Uh, the little boy that just ran up in here is one of the twin brothers of the girl that got possessed in the last game. And one of the things I need to do for the evil ending is sacrifice that child to the demon inside the, the old church. But I don't remember how to get him. Because I one another thing I remember is that if you get him to follow you and you pull out the cross, he runs away. If you pull out your Jesus, he runs away. Get yeah, no Jesus. Confess thy sins. Okay. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hills Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently, it has to do with some summoning, ha, do with the summoning of uh, the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room. Maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome. We're going to try the game. Awesome. We're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. Was it initially in a different language? I don't know. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you she will move when you do but never try to <coughs> never try to trick her. Oh, yeah. was I'm just my asking there. that because I know that like they were doing a lot of Spanish you know they are doing some Spanish at the start and stuff it's like it's, yep. if it was in Spanish maybe it did rhyme then because in English that ain't so, you notice the two candles here. Uh huh. Yeah, one represents me, the other one represents the spirit. So, you know where the spirit's at. Yep, and when I move to a room, you. Well, she's supposed to. I th yeah, if I remember right, I got, if I get the child, I gotta somehow bring him into the confession. Pray for me, Father, for I am sick. What seats have you got to confess? I tried to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Yep. There's the evil ending hint, right? And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. Yep. I think now for what I... Oh, I did not. Okay. Now I'm here. Okay. Night three. Shouldn't have came. Shouldn't have came here. Tapes missing. Lars struck behind. Stuck behind basement door. Struck. God, I can't read. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyways. The text is a little funky to read. Yep. I think now I'm able to leave the church and go get the boy. I'm gonna see if I actually can. I'm not gonna sacrifice him because it's already too late for me to get the evil ending, anyways. Oh, I didn't even think to use the cross on the scarecrow. 
I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs? The children? The thing that took them? It could have been five years. I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found that stupid grinning scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned around to go back, and that's when I heard it behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around. We just stood there. Me, the scarecrow, and the doomed child. Finally, I mustered up a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. It immediately fled into the immediately fled in the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. I ran too. What little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it'd be it because whatever I was looking at didn't have a face, just a bloody gaping hole. I came back to bloody gaping hole. Mm. Okay, still I need help. <laughs> need to get that selective hearing looked at. Alright, I'm trying to think what I'm supposed to do. I think I can... Uh... Okay, that opened up for a quick second. I think I have to get in the same room as her? I don't know. It said don't try to trick her. So I think I have to f somehow corner her? Oh, I know what I got. I do have to corner her. I gotta take... I gotta take her in the one spot, uh... behind the confessional. Switching to a uh, different game so I can commentate. Uh, <laughs> putting this on a different screen. So Playing a game that you can shut your brain off to. Yeah, slay the spire. Because I want to get pissed. <laughs> Night two. We're going to be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before, sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts, and we got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. I feel a burp coming on. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, apologies for that, folks. I uh, ate a wee bit of supper before I started recording. Okay, she's right up above. Oh, I don't like that the Okay, I was gonna say I don't like the music that cut out. Oh, do you want more music? No. Yes, uh okay. I guess I okay. Oh watch the candle. Uh da, 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 dang it. There we go. Okay, I didn't think I was going to actually corner... Okay, so I didn't need to corner her. Or I guess I inadvertently did. But you need to corner her there, probably. I think I just need to end up in the same room. I don't know. Uh. What you said. Yep. Really? Cross with an eye on it. Cool. Got my eye on you. <laughs> yeah, because I think you're supposed to end up in this room. Yeah, because. And then all the crosses are supposed to fall, and you can clearly read Watch the Candles, and that's supposed to be your indicator if the note wasn't an indicator enough. Yeah. Okay, kind of just, just stumbled my way into figuring that out. Thought it was gonna be a little bit tougher. Darkness surrounds thee. Who's watching me now? Reach the basement of Snake Meadow Hill Church. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. 
Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hand doesn't move past two. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest light shines and protects from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark. A foolish old man going mad in the dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. Into the darkness we go! I don't know. I uh, don't know if that's... I feel like that's going to be important for what's coming up. And it was. Crap. I gotta remember. Okay. Gotta remember symbols. So... Okay. Uh, crap, really. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. God damn you. <laughs> damn it. More <laughs> Did I accidentally spook you with the grandfather clock? <laughs> you got me a little bit worried there. Oh, p didn't move past two. Oh, I'm a freaking. I thought it was. Didn't move past two. Alright, I'm a moron. Because I thought this was a compass. It's a clock. Didn't move past oh. two. So I gotta go for the symbol that's at two o'clock. Right. That. Little uh, almost I hashtag just symbol. Because you're like, I have to remember the the symbol. So I'm like, click. click. Like, Surprisingly wait, wait. enough, the grandfather clock thing did make me realize. I was, I was like, wait a second. I was like, oh, the freaking note said two o'clock. And because I was I was looking at this thinking, I was like, how would the, how is this exactly a compass? Because I was thinking, because uh, it has too many directions. But then, yeah, the the clock thing yeah. makes more sense. So I gotta go... I know which one I gotta go for. Didn't move past two... Where is it? Down here. Oh. This is what I gotta do. I gotta figure out... The path? Yep. What uh, was your pathing? Tell me. So, da, 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 da. Is it up? Over? Uh, it's not gonna be over. Yep, nope, I'm gonna die. Oh, almost. Okay. Doot, 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 doot. No. Wait, wait a minute. Okay. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> no, I know what I gotta do. So from where the symbol that's at two o'clock, I gotta go clockwise. The, and that's uh, the symbols I gotta. That's the path. Okay. Yeah. So for the sake of not having to freaking power through this, I am going to take a photo with my phone. So that way I can remember. Just to make this a whole lot easier for me. Okay. Now I can do. Now I think I can do this. Cause, yep. Dun, dun. That one. That one. Back here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Down. There we go. Mother of Demons. Lovely. Jesus. Sounds like you need some Jesus. And 
holding off on a very particular sound I want to play for the right moment, but I'm also not paying enough attention at the same time. So I'm like, when? Yeah, you might miss that moment. I need that moment. I would have had it earlier. The deer. The yeah. deer. The deer. Oh, these were the three red bodies in uh, in the save family tomb. I just realized that. Yeah. Three murdered in latest wave of ritualistic killing. Sterling, Connecticut? C-O-N-N? -N? Oh. Yes. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nogel... Nogales and Troy Ingalls are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. Pandemonium I R E G N A T Regnet Regnet Ugh. Can't pronounce shit. Two of the victims' bodies were also partly burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be related. The arrangement of the bodies in, the, in a ritualistic pattern, as well as the writing of certain symbols and blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl, by John Ward. Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activities to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Nogles, and Ingles because, after all, they are degenerate, devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? <laughs> That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. Oh, that's what they were doing. They were, <laughs> that's what they were doing? <laughs> they were just getting high in the tomb. That's funny. You stuck... You stuck them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies. Then you chopped off their heads because everyone knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shall not raise what up what thou cantest. Canest. Not put down again. Thou couldst not kill Abe. Thou shalt not destroy my works. For they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she's at thy door. Her hand is at thy throat. Yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Ah, uh, pandemonium. Regnat set Satani Vete Pandemonium Regnat Santani Vete Pandemonium repeat, 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 not even going to get into the I'm here, John. Funny. 
What you were waiting for? <laughs> no. I'm melting! Oh, look. I'm out of there. <laughs> I just pressed that on accident, actually, and it fit way too well. I move a lot faster. That does kind of make sense. Also, I make this little noise when I walk. Now I can hear it. my audio is turned down a little bit. <laughs> it just cuts mm -hmm. off whenever mm -hmm. I stop. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, I think another thing I have to do is while I'm like this, I somehow have to kill those two. I think there is a way because of yeah, I kind of missed my ch yeah. Because if I, I'd have to go down and go on the sides of the road. Or the sides of... Because I'm in a drain pit. Yep. Or, ah, uh, yeah, I would have gone down from here. Oh, it is pushing... Yep. It is, like, physically pushing me back. I think that's some... I don't know if that... I don't remember if that was what was required for the evil ending, or... What? But I remember that I can a actively try to kill those two while I'm in my little demon form. Also, arrow made out of stones. Hmm. Candy, Candy. tunnel. <laughs> All right, where is that? Time to what is that? death that awaits. Be. Sewer count. Enter the candy tunnel. Eyeball. Is there anything that Jesus can do about that eyeball? No, I guess not. Alright, well, I'm in the next area. I appreciate the achievements that really let me know that I'm in the next area now. Yeah. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow Hill Road outside of Sterling. The notorious candy tunnel known in the area to be a home of addicts, gangs, runaways, and the uh, indigent has been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. Authorities are being pressured by by concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid fears of a possible connection to Joe Bowman, aka the candy store killer who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. Okay, I was right, Connecticut. Jesus. I see your little. I see that. I see them red pixels. They're actually really hard to spot, but for whatever reason, I see, yeah. I can see them. Satan. Satan lives. Oh yeah, it is Satan. Satan lives. Is that? I don't know how to yeah, spell. Yeah, no, it is. It is Satan. Is S T A S A T A. Okay. Multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials, however, reporting multiple <laughs> officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Ro Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after police raided the tunnels were suspected. Suspected murderer Joe Bowman, aka the candy store killer, was allegedly to be hiding. At this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bowman was wounded in the exchange, and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. Whew. Oh, I'm back here. What is this devil magic? I choose to see what is down this way. Just gonna take me back again. 
Yeah. Yep. What happens if I just exit the tunnel or go back this way? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright. No. Alright, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Oh, it's running. Yep. I saw it run by. Uh, uh read. Your mom can When you when, when you see it. When you see it, yep. Don't no. Move. Fantastic. Is there something I could do with the? No, I can't do something with the. Line. That seems like a. I feel like that would be a good. That would be a good spot. Said not to move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. I got my chance with that stupid cutscene. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Ooh, blood floor. It's a Satan hole because it's in the shape of a star. Yes. Stars totally aren't a naturally occurring thing. <laughs> when I was a boy, my nana used to tell me old legends about the dragons, the dagrons, trolls and demons that lived up in the mountains of Norway. This is the voice I guess I'm going with here. In those old tales, the people were never strong enough to kill the monsters, so instead they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it, keep it satisfied. It was like a deal with the devil. One sacrifice per year so that the beast would not come down from the mountain and slaughter the entire village in one night. There was no candy store killer. What we were dealing with is... Oh, this is one of the officers, I'm realizing. There was no candy store killer. What we're dealing with is not even human. When I got separated from the other officers, I saw the damn thing dragging what was left of Jenkins down into, the, into his lair. That's when I understood. The bums and the tweakers, the ones with grid, and the child prostitute runaways. They'll eventually come back to the tunnels. They always do. You can have them for all I care. Nobody wants them around. Except maybe that thing. And I'll tell you what, I hope to God it never gets tired of them. Ha! <laughs> Clever! Not the drug addicts and whatnot get sacrificed to a demon. And say it was some random frickin' dude. Called the Candy Store Killer, cause it's the Candy Tunnel. Alright, so mm -hmm. should I go up from here? Actually, mmm, um, curiosity! Let's see if there's another page to read something over there. Here. Come on. Come on. Give me something. <laughs> this is this is as far as uh, I'll go to hide my stash. Nobody goes past the first pipe. Nobody except those strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. Twice a month, they come and pass right through into the deeper tunnels. Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I hear something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, it, they sound really, really big. <laughs> Ah, you little shit. Ah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> Alright, how far back you sending me? Actually, I think... I don't think that was... That wasn't the... The demon. That was, I think that was one of the tweakers. Probably. Because that... Because I think that that was the note of a tweaker I found. Oh, so that was the tweaker behind here. 
It wasn't the demon. Uh, makes sense. Okay. That actually makes more sense. Huh. <sighs> but still, god damn it. Killing me because I actually thought of clut because I figured there'd be something there. Screw you for killing me because I was clever enough to find secrets. Okay, candles leading down this way. I don't want to go that way. Let's see if there's anything over this way. Apparently not. Okay, now I'm curious where the candles lead. No, now you're just scared to go into the hole. Well, I can go back. I'm sorry, God, please save me. Well, no. <laughs> Ain't no God here, boy. Okay, so I know I gotta follow no, the blood sorry. trail. Alright, curiosity be damned. Into the demon hole. I... Something's just gonna kill me. Or I gotta just go back. Nope, okay, it is endless. Nah, you should keep going. See how far you can get. Okay. I just... I didn't know if it would keep looping until something came to kill me, or what? I don't think it's I looping. I don't rem It's not. But considering it's literally pitch blackness, I thought it'd be, like, infinitely looping. Oh, there's a wall. Oh, mm. I think I have to take care of the demon first, and then I have to come in here. That sucked. I want to say that's correct. If I'm not, then, oh, then I guess I'm missing out on something. I feel like that's right. Gotta do what a priest got. Oh, I gotta get a flashlight. That's what I was thinking it was, too. It's like you're probably just getting a flashlight. <laughs> oh, fuck. Great. Just. Just what I wanted. Oh. oh hey, yeah. check it out. Can I kill you right here, right now? Said you can't. Nope. I gotta get some distance from him. Oh, fuck. Where are you, fucking asshole? Fuck. Oh, fuck off. I, I found you. Oh, hey, look, the twins. Alright, where are you, asshole? Ah. I don't know. I just felt like playing again. Since you were fighting the ghost. Weirdly enough, I feel like that kind of fit. <laughs> it did. There, now I got a flashlight to care of the demon. And it almost lasted as long as the fight did. There goes the tweaker. That fucking stabbed me with a frickin' s looked like a pair of scissors. Alright, I don't appreciate that. I can tell that wasn't part of the game, because everything's silent. It does, make, it does make me wonder if you memorize this, you can actually just go through this without the flashlight and without fighting the demon. Oh, 100%. I'm betting you could have just w wandered through it without the flashlight anyway. I can't read that because I don't speak demon Latin. Crash your party! Hit, enter the hidden sanctum. Welcome to the rave lit area, ladies and gentlemen. They, they hate, hate the, the light. light. Oh, great. Time to little nightmare spin a rooney this sucker. Yeah! Sadly. It's light. Thank you. Oh, I thought I could get him to say it again and again. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Alright. 
So I remember, I believe it is in this area, that there's a way... Ah, that's who hates the light. Fun, and they're every freaking where. I love that. I absolutely love that. Okay, so I gotta keep on the move and keep these fuckers in the... And keep them together. Yeah, but I gotta be able to do this. Well, I did it. Uh, probably have to do multiple. Yep! Yeah, I'd open that up. Keep I'm looking around here. for stuff. I'll fucking jack out. I, I, I dislike this. It's because it's too similar to the have to look at them or else they move. Yeah, and I hate weeping angels, but these things are worse. They constantly move. You just can't see them. I think up here... Yeah, so this is how I would get the evil ending. Because you see this pentagram, the child, and then the little spiderly dude that I was. So yeah, I had to make the pentagram, sacrifice the child, and kill the couple on the bridge. And then I guess I'd get that, and it'd give me the that piece of paper, and it'd give me the evil ending. Yep. Something for a different run. Ah, there's the key. Ooh, the key. Now I gotta make my way back. I'm trying to remember if there was a section in the Little Nightmares that I had to keep shining the light on somebody. I don't remember. Little Nightmares too. I had that. It's been wrong, it's though. it's been a while since Little Nightmares 2. I, I just remember it being mean, where it's like the game devs designed something to be hard. Game testers just spinning their joystick as fast as they can, just. <laughs> Crap. Oh. oh great! It's the nun. Hey, another priest. <laughs> Yep, this is something I can't that. If that's the longest or the shortest song, there is something to this. Let me look it up. Uh, okay, because I was gonna say I remember this part. Uh, while he's reading it out, he can at some point be hurt or killed, and if he does, and I finish whatever boss comes next, I get basically the normal ending. So I gotta keep him alive to get the oh, good ending. The 91st Psalm just refers basically to what he was saying. Alright. Alright. If that was the case, there wouldn't be a third chapter. <laughs> All right, none. Yep. I gotta protect him from the tweakers. I appreciate you on this. This suit, this fits. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> damn it! I wasn't tur I didn't, for some reason, turn around. Great. Thankfully, it saves me right here, so... Yep. Uh... <laughs> Stay by them and pay attention to where they spawn. Fuck off, you. Oh, come on! Okay. 
Ah, oh, and I actually got further that time. Yep. All right, skippable. Sure, I thought there was. All right, I skippable cutscenes. I forgot about that. <laughs> Watch this be the one run that I actually successfully do it because you're not playing the church music. No. 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 Okay, at least he went for me. I'd rather. Ha God. I don't know what I did wrong there. Ugh, this is gonna take a few tries because I actually have to keep him alive. I hate him in this corner because the ones right up above are just so close. I'd rather have him in the middle. turn. Oh shit. That was close. Ah, dead. God, that was close. Man, I do not react quick enough. Where are you? Where are you? Damn it! More of this. Oh, and I know exactly where I gotta start this back up again. Oh no, it actually puts me here. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I had to oh, hear the sorry. friggin' 91st Psalm again. Okay. The game, the game's a bit nicer. As long as I kept. Uh, I think that was Father Garcia alive. I think I'm. Yeah, I gotta get some more sound bites. That's what I'm gonna be up to. <laughs> I'm gonna be up causing more trouble. Yeah, there. It's ho one thing that's tricky is that she comes out from the corner. So when she comes out from the corner, because I can only turn the four directions. Come on. How much more of this do I need to do? As long as she's in the light, I know my cross can... Turn the lights back on, damn it! Ah, I didn't turn around quick enough. More of this. Uh, all right, here we go again. God damn it! It's a good thing I, it's a good thing I don't have to perfect this freaking boss. Hopefully, to get the good ending. Cause that'd be stupid. I 
brain reacts a little too late. Saying anything because I'm trying to clutch the fuck up. Meh. Oldie but a goodie, but in this case, meh. Yeah, the game's way too loud for that. The volume amount is nowhere near similar. Yeah. I hate that that's what keeps happening, is like when she appears right behind me, is just... Oh, I was gonna say, God damn it, face the right direction! Every time I don't react, just... There we go. Screw you. There we go! Please save it at this point. <laughs> All right. Should have saved. Yep. Okay. Okay. I gotta go down and not up. Because I think I can. I keep thinking I'm getting out of her hitbox range. Okay, that was lucky. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it. Probably have to get out of that. The thing that I'm afraid of is, uh,. Father Garcia getting killed, because if he does get killed, then I can't get the good ending. So I'm more sure worried about him dying more than I than me. Ah, oh, that was lucky. Yeah, I gotta get out of that pentagram. Damn it! <laughs> Fucking bitch. Okay, that time. She went low. I, I was okay, not facing the correct direction. Oh, come on! Morty. Morty. Gotta banish the ghost, Morty. It's a nun, Morty. Crap, 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 crap. Yeah, run, 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 run. Get. I don't think he can die from in this point. At this point. No, I don't think he can. It seems like it's, it's not meant for him to be able to die. No, thank God. So yeah, it was just basically when he's reading uh, the Bible verse. That's thank. Thank the Lord. Funnily enough. Damn it! Boy. Okay, now that I don't gotta worry about. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> Didn't think I was gonna dodge that. Cause yeah, if he dies while reading, uh, you basically have to do this by yourself. And I don't know if he actually assists. <laughs> It feels, it feels like he does, god damn it! Yes, yes! God! Mm. I hate that. I can't escape her freaking 
stack rage, man! I can't escape the hitbox! There we go. God damn it. It's so annoying. <laughs> Okay. Next phase. Oh. Oh, now she. Can yep, and now I gotta kill myself. <laughs> Cause I can't let him die. I think she says die, Nino. That's why. I... Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Yes, there is one instance where she goes for an attack on the other, on Padre here. I'll make sure to not prevent that. There we go. Out of the pentagram. Yep. Let that be it. That's not how to protect Padre. Yep, damn it. Okay, <sighs> good to know. she starts a new phase, she tries to go after Padre, so good to know. Ah, get set up! Mm. Little, ink, little stupid inconsistent pattern! You! Damn you! Damn you, Satan's whore! That seems a little unusual of the hitbox. Yeah. So. Okay. Really missed out on that one. Uh, thank you, Padre. I think 
I think Padre actually, I think even though it doesn't show, I think he, it is doing consistent tick damage. Out of the pentagram! Come on. There we go. No. Not this time. That ah, son of a gun. Think fast, chuckle nuts. That was weirdly timed correctly. There we go. You timed that perfectly <laughs> with the pentagram. <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> the morning breaks. Dude, that Think Fast Chuckle Nuts was timed perfectly. <laughs> I used that in the Mortal Shell video, I think. Because of a scene where it was, like, obscenely bright. <laughs> John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I'll always love you back. Molly. No, God! No, God, please, no! I'm not going in there. Bullshit, you're not. You're gonna go in there and you're gonna like it. Alright. And there's a letter. John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. They, If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth a demon of an unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malthus. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy. Father Garcia. My nightmares are getting worse. Ever since I left that house, I am haunted by visions of demons. I finished my work with Amy, but now the boys are in danger. This time I must not fail. Malfas must be stopped. As the profane samples draws closer, the workers of darkness grow stronger. This will be my greatest test of faith yet. God have mercy on my soul. Is that the end? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Ending one. Go forth with faith. The dreams go on. Survive the nightmare. New backgrounds, new effects, new play modes. Ooh, new backgrounds. I'm curious about that. Yes, yes, yes. Instructions, options. Scan line opacity. Background. <laughs> I can I can increase or decrease the op opacity of the scan lines. <laughs> of the CRT scan line. That's cool. Uh background. <laughs> Higher red. <laughs> that, that's just a, that is a realistic cornfield image. It's, it's just I, a picture of a cornfield flag. I love the. I kind of like that. <laughs> CH2 splash. Channel 2 splash. Howdy, sir. How's it going, huh. guys? Uh, oh, just okay. kind of got done recording some faith getting to the end of it so thank you all for coming by to watch this i really appreciate it. you all know the deal with the outro like comment subscribe if you haven't already and hope you all will return for the next video till then everybody have a good day